Hi, so I got a problem with my printer, Canon printer MX922, so I got a lot of uh, tips from the website on how to clean the print head, but it's not that easy how they are presenting it. So I did some, you know, do, um, things that I think I need to express. So this was um, actually I used the uh, rubbing alcohol, 50%, and Windex. So the portion is actually I just put enough um, alcohol on the um, up to the print head, um, the holes of the print head, and then squeeze at least four times, you know, Windex. Um, so I did that before I put the print head there, as soon as I take it out from the um, printer, I actually um, wash it off with warm water thoroughly and just make sure that all the ink were washed off. And so, so this is now the demonstration I'm showing you. Um, there's still color coming out from the print head. So I got the straw and I blow it. And if you can sip a little bit of uh, the liquid not going all the way to your mouth, you can actually just blow all those uh, you know, parts of the print head that is important. And as you can see on the video. So I did that um, every hour or at least two hours and unfortunately I don't have time and to blow it from time to time and this is, is done for two days. So when you put that on the um, that, um, that container but actually if you're going to put that for two days you actually need to put it in a Tupperware. Hold on. Putting that on a Tupperware, at least you can close the lid and the alcohol and the Windex will not evaporate. So do that for at least 48 hours or 2 days, which I did. And the next part of the video will show you um, that I took it out from that um, um, liquid and I wash it off with warm water again. In this part of the video, I'm checking underneath if I, there's a lump of color that you can see. That means they're still trying to, the color is still coming out from the print head. On this video, I took it out from the solution and I wash it off with warm water again, cleaning it thoroughly. And after this, I want to try it and put it in warm water and let it soak again for some more hours. So now I got another plate uh, to test if there are more ink coming out from the print head because it is very important that the print head is totally clean and unclogged. So I did this several times already and this is the most effective uh, thing that I did. So here we go, we have a plain you know, top water and I again soaked it for probably more hours during those 48 hours that I'm doing it. And I actually, the, you know, you can see the water changes when this is when I already blew, you know, more on those holes so you can see even if i already soaked it overnight there's still ink coming out so you really need to do this over and over again if you want to reuse the print head because if you buy a new print head it's very expensive so you might as well buy a new one so I, i'm just trying this if it will work and basically to me yes it did work and you will see it in the video after all this demonstration as you can see, as I continue blowing each holes, you can see the magenta came out. See the red color there. So this is already after soaking it for a whole night. So yeah, it takes a while. So it can take you three days, you know, four days to do this. 
you know, to work. So, me, I think I, I probably will count at least three days on this journey to uh, take all those things out. So, I continue to soak it and checking it from time to time and see uh, if there are any more ink coming out. And as you can see, the water really has changed, you know. And I keep on blowing each pulse again from time to time. So again, I'm checking if there's lump of colors that is left behind. So looks like it's clean. So I'm taking this out and throwing the water away, and I'm gonna wash it off. So again, I'm washing it off with warm water, really thoroughly. It's very important. So once again, I put some more warm water on the plate and soak the same time and check it and I check it after an hour or two and see if there's more ink coming out. And at this point, when I look at it, you know, there's no more ink and I guess I empty the whole cartridge of ink. Um, okay, so... So after this process, I wash and dry the cartridge, making sure that it's thoroughly dried because, you know, you don't want to connect it with uh, any water in it. So now we're in inserting it in, in the printer back and see how it goes. So be careful in putting back the um, print head. It's very delicate, and especially those... Um, um, connectors inside that connects to that um, those um, green ones um, so we'll see after this after I connected and everything and see how it's gonna work or not I wash it in plastic bag so it will not dry. So here now um, we're gonna put it back. And I have the hope that this thing will work this time because I really took time to make this work. So here you go and we'll see what's gonna happen. like the printer is working and it's trying to to read all those cartridges and we'll see what's gonna happen next so I'm gonna jump this to what happened next so you don't have to be in this computer for a long long time so at this point it's just telling you that the um, 
the printer was not turned off properly which we did because we cannot we have to turn off improperly so that we can take the print the print head out um, so now the the error the B200 errors gone looks like it's how it should be so now we're gonna test the print to print and I have something in the printer already so we can just make a copy of that one I press the color. Okay, there you go. So it's printing now, and yep, it's printing very really good. And that's it. It's a success. printed several more times and um, as I'm printing more and more and I can see that it's getting really clearer and clearer and I was able to also print the colored unfortunately I don't have the red ones but the blue ones came out and I think it's back to normal so I hope you'll be successful too in uh, you know cleaning the printer and making your computer work again it's a very expensive printer and that print head is very expensive, you would rather buy anything. So, I hope you learned something. Just make sure that, uh, you know, just keep blowing those holes and be patient.